Forlan wears the look of a determined man. The first kick in the shootout for Uruguay is successful. Forlan scores 1 0 Uruguay. Gian will attempt to exercise the memory of that penalty miss by coming up to strike the first one for Ghana. The whole of Africa will be praying that Lightning does not strike twice and he does not hit the crossbar again. Asamwa Gian, it's still a short run up. He's got to beat the goalkeeper this time and he has done. And he has exercised the ghost in the memory of that miss. 1 1. And uh, oh, he's had a very, very quick opportunity to get his self esteem back. And uh, one of his colleagues goes out there, Anand, to congratulate him on keeping his nerve. Uruguay's turn. Mauricio Victorino from the University de Chile club. He's not a regular penalty taker. He's never scored a goal for Uruguay. He's entrusted. And he beats Kingston, smashes it high into the net. A 100% record so far. 2-1 Uruguay. Not many more experienced men out there than Stephen Appiah, the 29-year-old from Bologna, the man who scored a World Cup goal four years ago. This to go in to make it 2-2. Muslera will try and foil him. It is Appiah. And he does it, his shot was the one that was kept out on the line, which afforded them a penalty kick in the 120th minute. And that's the way that Stephen Appiah celebrates beating Muslera. Just got his fingertips to it, but it hit the back of the net, and that is all that counts. Uruguay 2, Ghana 2 in the shootout. Stepping forward now is the substitute, Andres Scotti. Nobody's missed. Emphatically driven low beyond Kingston. It must be such a feeling of relief when you see the ball go into the net and he drilled that one straight down the middle. John Mensah, who once scored the winning goal in the World Under-20 Championships against Brazil, is next up for Ghana. He's never scored in open play in 69 internationals, but he did score with a penalty kick against the Brazilians that time. This to make it all square again. Again, he favours the... Well, he's just a run-up at all. He'll be right-footed. And John Mansur sees the shot saved by Muslera. It is advantage Uruguay. They lead 3-2. And Mensah is consoled immediately. He is their captain. Apier and Gian go to offer their sympathies. The next one for Uruguay gives them the opportunity to take it to 4-2. And they have one foot in the semi-finals. It is the right fullback, Maximiliano Pereira. Who blasts it straight over the top and the advantage is lost. Provided Ghana score with the next one. The drama continues long into the night in Johannesburg. Africa believes again and Pereira blasted it too high. The net shook, but not because the ball hit it. It breezed over the bar. Ghana are very much alive, especially if this next one goes beyond goalkeeper Muslera. It's the young man, Dominic Adia. 
star of the world in the 20 championships and this is saved as well and it's a horrible horrible moment for the young man 20 years of age and we've seen three misses in a row he needn't cover his face it wasn't the best of penalties Muslera going to the left kept it out and yet again it's advantage Uruguay let me remind you of the score it is 3-2 on penalty kicks and Abreu Sebastian Abreu a man who has played 58 times for his country and scored 26 times a man who has had 17 different clubs comes up here and if he hits the ball into the net Uruguay will go through into the semi-finals sounds simple enough doesn't it he's going to be the first one to use the left foot Kingston has to save it they all stand arms around one another it is a Abreu it's the cheekiest chip you've ever seen and it's good enough to take the South Americans into the semi-finals of the World Cup African hearts are finally broken in 2010 there will be no African team in the last four there will be the South Americans of Uruguay twice world champions but they make it through into the semi-finals after years of trying and bad results